flower growing wild and free All I'd want is you to be my sweet honeybee And if I was a tree growing tall and green All I'd want is you to shade me and be my leaves Integrated pest management is a method for uh, handling pests, diseases, and insects on the farm that has an end goal of reducing the overall amount of actual pesticide spray. It equips them to learn how to identify bugs on their farm so they can discern between a good bug and a bad bug and then to um, act accordingly. A practice that's basically used as an alternative to um, widespread chemical pesticides on a farm. There are four different approaches to integrated pest management, including physical, cultural, biological, and chemical. The physical approach involves putting a physical barrier between pest species and their host crop. The cultural approach involves methods such as sanitizing equipment to prevent the spread of disease, as well as intercropping fields to encourage polycultures. The biological approach involves knowing the difference between beneficial and pest insects and then creating an ecosystem that encourages beneficial insects. The chemical approach involves spraying either a narrow spectrum or a broad spectrum pesticide to decrease pest damage to crops. When a pest exceeds the action threshold and begins to cause significant damage to the crop, a farmer may choose to spray a narrow spectrum pesticide that targets only the pest that is causing damage. On the Dickinson farm, this method is used as a last resort for pests that are too difficult to control with other methods of integrated pest management. I think a visual assessment is really um, what our threshold is and it's not that we count um, a certain number of bugs on a plant and decide then is the time to act, it's literally visual damage that we're starting to see because then that impacts our ability to sell that product to the cafeteria, to a farmer's market, or to give it to our CSA and so that's how we kind of um, cross that threshold bridge. Scouting is vital to an integrated pest management approach. Scouting is, is really important on our farm. We scouted, which is crucial to, to integrated pest management. Scouting is vital to an integrated pest management approach because um, we can make decisions based on the actual pest presence in the field. And it's also important to know what's coming into the field. So we might, we might see eggs, if we're careful, we might see eggs before the caterpillars and we know that Okay, next week is really when we want to watch them. We will uh, make a list of the crop and the date and the location and go through the field and actually make a record of how many pests we find per plant. Um, so an example in the cabbage field might be to um, say we're going to pick 10 plants in each row and kind of randomly walk through the row and without looking for bad ones, just pick 10 average looking plants and look underneath the leaves pretty thoroughly and count the number of uh, problem insects. When we come up with an average per plant, then that enables us to determine an uh, action threshold. So my action threshold for caterpillars on cabbage plants is any more than two per plant is worth uh, getting out the BT. Um, because beyond that, if there's two per plant that I'm seeing, there's probably at least a couple more out there and they make quite a bit of damage on young plants. Pollinator hubs provide a habitat for beneficial organisms such as birds, insects, and toads. During the spring and summer, this pond is surrounded by flowers and herbs that attract beneficial organisms. We are currently sitting in front of one of the farm's hub ponds. These were put in by Scott Hoffman as part of his senior research project last year. Uh, the goal of these ponds is to attract um, the American toad, which is an insect controller. Leaving a woodlot and planting trees around the farm can provide a habitat for birds and beneficial insects to breed. Another method to promote beneficial insects is to leave undisturbed grass strips between fields. The hope of this method is that these beneficial insects that live best in undisturbed grass strips will migrate into the fields and mitigate pest pressures. What we find resides within the grass strips are um, primarily ground beetles. If we have a field that's has a strong weed pressure and we weren't able to manage that weed pressure and weed seed dispersal occurred um, by providing habitat for ground beetles to reside nearby a cropping field we're actually enabling their migration to the cropping field where we might have high weed seed pressure and they actually consume the weed seed. After determining what insects live on the farm by scouting 
farmers must decide what prevention strategies they will use. One example of a prevention strategy is to place a physical barrier between a pest species and its host crop. One example of a physical barrier is row cover. Row cover is a thin petroleum-based fabric that allows water and sunlight to penetrate while preventing the pest species from locating its host crop. This is especially effective for crops that face heavy predation from pests that are difficult to control. Another prevention method is intercropping. Intercropping is a method that grows two or more crops in a field together. The aim of this method is to produce a greater yield by planting crops together that do not share pest pressures. Pests multiply more rapidly in a monoculture because their food is abundant, but in a polyculture such as this, pests have to spend more time searching for their host plant. We will plant our basil with our, with our tomatoes. And not only do tomatoes and basil go well together harvesting and eating, um, basil can serve as a, a hub for insect habitat and food source. The overall management strategy of using um, beneficial insect habitat and bird and toad habitat on the farm has, we feel it's created enough of a balance that uh, we are able to re reduce our sprays to the level where it's, we're saving quite a bit of money. IPM is really important for us, especially as a small vegetable farm, because we rely a lot on insects um, for pollination of our crops. It's using nature. Um, to help produce your food rather than chemicals and that's just so much healthier. In my opinion one of the best aspects of integrated pest management is the um, is the purpose of really using uh, creating a system for, for farmers to learn what they're dealing with um, instead of just spraying uh, broad spectrum um, pesticides they can actually identify the pests that they're dealing with or the diseases that they're being confronted with and develop a strategy that minimizes chemical inputs um, through cultural, physical, and biological controls. If I was a flower growing wild and free, all I'd want is you to be my sweet honeybee. And if I was a tree growing tall and